key friends. Hope all are fine. Today we have to announce a small change in our schedule that the videos of your choice and suggestions shall be updated on every weekends and Wednesdays. Kindly keep in touch with us. It's our promise that all of your suggestions will be valued and more and more videos of your choice will definitely be updated. So keep commenting and keep watching. If you are not able to wait for until our new video releasing days as mentioned above just comment this to make it faster and we will also do it for you. I you are in an emergency. This video includes the life cycle of Puccinia as per the suggestion from one of our subscriber in the last week. Hope it helps. Life cycle of Puccinia. Essay explained. Kingdom. Fungi. Division. Eumycota. Subdivision. Basidiomycodina. Class. Telemycetes. Order. Urdanales. Family. Puccinaceae. Genus. Puccinia. Species Puccinia asperity. Puccinia triticina. Puccina graminus italics and so on. General features. Commonly known as, rust. Obligate parasite. Capable of thriving. Only upon living hosts. Either heteroecious or autoecious. A. Autoecious. P. Asparagi. Completes. Life cycle on single host asparagus. B. Heteroecious. Puccinia graminus italics completes. Life cycle on, two hosts. Life cycle. Puccinia graminus. Wheat primary host. Barberry. Alternative host. Both the hosts are necessary for the Completion of life cycle. I. Decaryophase. Esidial cups on lower surface of. Barberry leaves produce esidiospore. Esidiospore binucleate brings. About the primary infection on wheat plant or any other suitable host plant. As they germinates. Germ tube or primary hypha enters the. Host and it produces the hostoria for. Nutrient absorption. The cells of the hypha are. Binucleate. And togather constitute a decarion. A. Urdaneal stage. A few days after infection, the dicaryotic mycelium begins to form. Urdasori. The hyphae of mycelium aggregate to form a hyphal mass, called uredia. Near surface of infected leaf. Glooms or stems. Uredia produces large number of urdospores, which forms a group called urdosaurus. Elongation of stock of spores and large number of them causes the rupture of host epidermis to expose the urdospores. Spore gets liberated by wind and other agents from one host to other. Under favorable conditions, your dospore germinates and put forth the germ tube and it later on reaching. The stoma swells up into an elongated vesicle appressorium. Infectious hypha produced from appressorium grows and ramifies in the intercellular spaces of host tissue and later produces pustules called your dosori on the infected leaf. Note, infection by your dospores. Reddish brown pustules on leaves and stem, hence uredinal stage often called red stage, summer stage. B. Teleal stage. Late in growing season, the hyphal mass that gave rise to uredia, red stage. Replace it by teludosori, black stage. Winter stage in the same source first. Later, completely teludospores occupies the sori and it become converted to teludosori and stage teleal stage. Each cell of teludospore have two nucleus and a germ pore. They do not germinate readily, but undergo a period of rest and carry fungus to the next growing season. 1. Diploid phase. Note during maturation period. 2. Nuclei in each cell of teludospore fuse to form diploid nucleus and it represents the diploid phase and in this condition the spore tides over the winter. In the following spring, with favorable conditions teludospore germinates. Each cell of teludospore produce promycelium. I. Haplophase. The diploid nucleus which passes to promycelium divides meiotically to form four haploid nuclei. They are separated from one another by cross walls. This four-celled structure. Basidium. Each cell produce short narrow tube. Sterigma. Later. At the end of each sterigma. Basidiospore is produced. Two basidiospores plus ve strain and two. Ve strain. Basidiospores which forms the beginning. Of haploid phase are carried by wind to. Alternative host barberry plant. Note they germinates only when falls. Up on the alternate host. A. Pycnidial stage. And strains accordingly to the. Mycelial mat of basidiospores group. Beneath upper epidermis of barberry leaf. On upper surface to form pycnidium. There are two kinds of hyphae in. Pycnidium. 1. Spermatial hyphae bear spermatia. Pycneospores at their tips. 2. Receptive hyphae which protrude. Beyond the osteole, small pore opening. To outside. Note of pycnidium only give rise to either ve or plus strains of spermatium and receptive hyphae. Insects help in the transfer of 
spermatium of one strain to the pycnidial. Cups, pycnidium containing receptive. Hyphae of opposite strain. Thus a binucleate cell is formed one with. Plus an other with a minus strain. Togather constitute a dicaryon. From the dicaryotic cell. A dicaryotic. Mycelium is organized on the lower surface of barberry leaf. The hyphae with dicaryotic cells collect. To form the acidia. Again the mature acidiospores. Binucleate, from acidia liberated end. Carried by air results in the continuation. Of the life cycle and here life cycle is. Completed. Note acidiospores are incapable of. Infecting a barberry plant. But can. Infect the wheat plant. The diagrams of the life cycle is given here for you. The first one shows the basic diagram just for understanding and the second one here shows the detailed diagram for study. Thank you all for the support and comments from you. Please keep in touch with us for more videos and we are here to help you. Thank you.